What's up, guys? Echo Spangin here, and today we are playing as AP Lucian in the mid lane. And you know what? Sometimes you just gotta let those high pitched things out to soothe the the little kitties in your life. But this AP Lucian mid is beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's so much fun. And I wanted to show you guys so badly uh, why I have so much fun doing this. As you may know, I do play a sh shit ton of Lucian. I played the fuck out of this champion. And obviously, not only do I play him AD carry, I play him mid, I play him top, I play him AD, I play him AP. I play him however I want to do. And you know what's also really fun? Jungle Lucian. Very fun. All of it is just a blast. Or at least to me, because I love the champion. But anyways, going into this game, we will be against a Morgana, it seems. And as you can see, uh, just by my inventory right there, I did actually start with a Doran's Blade as opposed to a Doran's Ring. Um, for the simple fact that Doran's Blade is going to help us early quite a lot more than a Doran's Ring would. Um, and also, I start with my Q instead of my W, even though I will be maxing my W first. Because the uh, Q actually has a higher base damage than my W, making it a better skill for the early game. Now, obviously, AP Lucian is not bound to be super strong uh, in this little bit of a laning phase that we'll be having here. So... There's no need to sit there and try and force yourself. Don't force it too hard or else it's just going to crash and burn as you realize you cannot kill anything uh, until eh, level 5? Five? 5, 6? You know, around the time that you actually start getting points in your abilities and maybe an item here or there. So for now, we are going to miss our first CS like a goddamn just freshly harvested carrot playing League of Legends but it looks like first blood gonna go down bot lane great job down there with that gankaroo coming in let's go ahead and pop that E for the auto attack reset and we'll keep on chilling so throw the Q route right there get a little poke and the minion get that Thunderlord's proc off on her there and let's see I actually forgot to change my masteries I was gonna run the 45% CDR but I still have it in the penetration, so my dang. But let's see here. So our potion need not be touched, or our biscuit, excuse me. I'm not even hungry. Where this Morgana is about to have to think twice about chugging some of uh, that delicious Kool-Aid of hers in that inventory. Because she is getting rather chunked by our uh, damaging abilities. So there we go. Some good shit there. Who's their jungler? It is a Trundle. So actually, Trundle Jungle will be rather easy to escape from as Lucian. So I'm not too worried about getting ganked at all, uh, even though I should definitely go ward. And always, always, just a little tip, whenever you are going to go ward, have your eyes just glued on your laner. Because if you start running over to a side of the lane that you do not currently have vision on to go ward it, and, you know, hold on, we gotta fuck this bitch up! And before you go, get the fuck out. Anyways, as I was saying, if you go over to the side of a lane that you do not have vision on, and you're trying to ward it, and the end, like your enemy laner goes hauling ass right after you, chances are you shouldn't keep going towards that bush, because they have their jungler right there. And I've seen people make that mistake more times than I can, uh, like, than I can even count, and... It's, it's a simple mistake that a lot of people just forget about. So, definitely something to keep in mind. And, well, it looks like our Morgana chose to back here. And honestly, if she backed, I should have tried to push this wave a lot harder. What'd she get? Probably Catalyst. Yeah, she got a Catalyst. I saw it in the inventory there. And that's no surprise. Morgana's just going to rush Rod of Ages and play like a big ol' bitch. So let's go ahead and just run forward on her here. Do some good damage. That spell shield of hers is not going to do much of anything against us actually right now. Because all of our damage is coming from AD. So let's see. Is she going to try and interrupt us? Actually if she does that's fine. Because I am going to... I kind of want to stay for one more wave actually. So 
We're going to save for another wave here, get to level 6, and then I'm actually going to call the next wave. Now, what calling the next wave is going to do, it's obviously going to put my ult on cooldown, but it's going to make it so I have a better opportunity to back. Now, as you can see, the wave is pushing towards me, which is what makes this even a better time to call, because this next wave is going to crash into it, and now there is a 9 minion wave right here that I can just push quite a lot harder. So that'll be stacking the wave up against her and getting us to go back right here. 59 CS at the 6 minute mark. Very well done. It looks like... What is going on bottom? I don't even understand, but apparently... What are you doing? What are you doing, you rancid skank? She's going to do it. She's going to do it. She's going to do it, isn't she? Yep. I knew you would. I knew you would. I knew you would. So I'm actually... Might as well just stay now for another wave. Because, honestly, this doesn't negatively affect me at all. In all honesty, it just makes it a little more boring for you guys because I can't go back and get, um, you know, huge items yet or anything. So sometimes, while there definitely are times that, um, you know, canceling people's backs is helpful, she's not doing it at an opportune time. In fact, since she doesn't have her spell shield right now, She's going to die here, so boom, that's going to be the W and the Ignite picking up that kill. Great gank done by Perdun with the explosive cask right after he saw that the bitch did not have her spell shield. So an easy gank off right there will get us one kill. Very, very well done. So 2,400 gold on this first back here, and we will be going straight for Eluden's Echo. Now, Luden's Echo, because when you're playing AP Lucian, you want as much upfront burst as you can have. Other choices are Nasher's Tooth, maybe. Um, I don't recommend it anymore now that the attack speed does not help your calling do more damage. It used to scale off of attack speed how many bullets you would shoot, but now it does not, so it's not nearly as good. Um, and AP Lucian is just better played with upfront burst as opposed to playing, um, you know, as damage over time. What you want to do is you want to get a decent amount of CDR and you want to just become an ability spam bot because that's where all your damage is going to come from and that's how you're going to be awesome. So, let's see here. You can max either of the abilities. Either way, you're not, like, horribly wrong or anything. I personally like to max my Q second if you are if you know if you wanted my opinion on what to max second but that is you know maybe just me it's up to your interpretation let's go ahead and look at that chunk one W right there just gonna take like 15% of her health not a bad deal if you ask me but what the real power is is the culling because I know this won't sound like much, but the calling has a 0.1 AP ratio. Meaning for every 10 AP you have, the calling will do one additional damage per shot. And I know that doesn't sound like much, but that really adds up. Like, that adds up. Especially when you're chilling with 500 AP, that's 50 additional damage per shot. And now if people are building MR because, oh no, they're against AP Lucian. Well, guess what, fuckwit? The calling does physical damage and you're about to get tickled to death. So Tickle Me Elmo will finally have his revenge on you. And let's see, what the hit me? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just get out of this one. Because with her busting that summoner spell, I do not want to uh, keep, keep a... Keep a hand in here but let's go ahead and just kill her ass anyways because she was just a little too far forward we'll be getting tickled to the ground easy easy kill right there and knowing she did not have her flash because she did bust it to try and get away from my uh, menacing gaze earlier we'll secure an easy kill for us so 2 0 and 105 CS at the 10 and a half minute mark and we can actually go get our full Luden's Echo now so what this will do is, first of all, give us more movement speed so we can position our calling better. Second of all, it'll give us 100 AP, decent amount of AP, obviously not a bad amount in the slightest. But it also gives us the little 
the passive part of the Luden's Echo, the little poof of damage, the little extra poof of damage, the Echo, uh, if you will. And that is, you know, what helps Lucian have even more upfront bursts. If you guys don't know, the Luden's Echo does actually scale with, uh, with AP itself, so the more AP you have, the more damage that Echo part of it will do. So, little neat things there, and it does apply off of every one of your abilities. So it looks like, is she not going to spell shield? She's dead! So, she chose to wait three and a half years to spell shield, <laughs> so she's just going to go down with no issues there. Was W here? Look at that damage. Did you just see that damage? I'm sure you just saw that damage. If you was paying attention, you seen that damage. I threw my W here, I'll do it again. Here, boom! Look at that! 300 on some of them, 400 on the Luden's Echo shots. Mm. So much damage already. And let's see here. We are keeping up with 10 CS a minute. Very well done on our part here. And I haven't even been going for, like, Crimson Raptors or anything. That is, this is all lane CS. So very well done on our part. It's not the most incredible thing ever because we are in a Morgana lane, which is more of a farm lane than, you know, a lot of things. But still pretty good. Still pretty good. It looks like Trundle is trying to get cold, or is he? Go ahead and throw that W. Boom! Look at that damage, baby! That's what I like to see! Get chunked on! So, her flash is going to be back up by now. And that is, well, it's not going to make it impossible to get a kill, but it will definitely make it a little bit more difficult. So... Let's go ahead and just bonk this. It looks like, dude, I don't know what's going on in this bot lane. But they are not having any of it, and neither am I, so come here, bitch! There goes that flash of hers. And maybe the play... Oh. I was hoping that I could actually snipe her with that piercing light. Pick up a kill there. It looks like I do have a big dog on the loose here. And I don't know what he's planning on doing to me. I'm just going to sit here and... Oh, God, he's trying to kill me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh god, that's what he's going to do to me. And I was fine the whole time. You know what? You guys might have, an average League of Legends player may have been worried about dying there. But not me. Not me. Because I'm the greatest. I knew I wasn't going to die. Obviously. So, next up, let's go straight for Lich Bane, I think. Now, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Because this Blasting Wand can go into either Lich Bane or uh, Rabadons, so I'm not sure what choice I want to make. Or I could even go for something like a Abyssal Scepter, since I'm against Morgana, but I don't think I want to do that. But the choice is there. The choice is there, but it looks like the exhaust going down, the Trundle up here, and the Darius chopping him up, pulling him back in, and dunk! And that was the weakest dunk I've ever seen in my life. So, oh. Well, good night per done. I guess, I guess it's very obvious that Gabe is, he's white. He ain't got no Duncan skills, so he is obviously a white man. So, poor Gabe. Plus, he's not even using Dunkmaster Darius. For shame. For shame. Let's go ahead and just pop a W in there, and we should be able, well, we got one minion. <laughs> That's not nearly as many as I was expecting to get with that uh, with that W. Oh wait, here we go. And thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got that blue baby. Thanks for that trundle. Thanks for the leash, buddy. Will be giving me that blue buff. And that's ooh. Oh, that feels good. Oh, it feels good. Excuse me. Damn it, feels good to be a gangster. Boop get that and let's see so throw the w and the calling and she's just gonna get melted just like butter on a hot summer day good night <laughs> miss morgana where did you go all right see you later and as you guys can see i'm not even getting auto attacks in that's why i'm thinking lich bane might not be 
too necessary. Because all of my damage is coming from me Wing and ulting. And she's dead. She's gone. She's, like I said, melted like butter on a hot summer day. So, let's see if this blind man can feel the steel of my ardent blaze. It looks like there's a trundle up here, but there's also a Gragas and the Lucian. So, what's up, baby? Boom! That's gonna put me at the unstoppable. And the trundle dildo has erected itself out of the ground. And it looks like, well, that will be uh, cause enough for me to not want more. And I guess Connor just going deeper. Deeper and deeper and deeper. So good job, Connor. I'm going to go ahead and back here. And I think we'll just go for our fedora. Our, uh, our fancy, fancy fedora. Or I could go for a CDR item. There any CDR items in blood? So I could get a Ginsu. That'd be funny. I'm not going to, but I could. I definitely could. Some little Namakan is 2400. Uh, I could actually sell this and just get a full little Namakan. So, what this is going to do is actually going to give me some mana regen. If I can spell. Um, but on top of mana regen, 80 AP and the 20% CDR. So when I am level 18, I will have max F CDR based on my uh, mat or my runes. So I am running 10% CDR per level in my glyphs. So, with Ionian Boots and the Merlodonomicon, we will... Oh, you... You dick. You're an awful person. Playmaker 2000, you are just... Mm, you sure know how to rustle my jimmies right on up, don't you? But that's alright. That's alright. We love you all the same. So it looks like... Uh oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> I thought I saw some... Uh, enemy... Portraits on the map. But I didn't. I just saw... I just saw nothing. So, ooh. Ooh. And... Oh, Jin, what's that, baby? You want to go down, too? Get annihilated! So it looks like, whoa! It's looking like Lee Sin trying to do the do. And he is not going to get it, because he is not the Mountain Dew. He is the Tropic Thunder of worthlessness. Wait, hang on. I ain't done with you. I ain't done with you, ba bonk Look at that damage taking him out, and he's down. It looks like, can we get another one? Another one. Oh. Okay, whatever. You know what? Piercing light for the Luden's Echo kill. And let's do it, baby. Let's do it. So as you guys can uh, very clearly see, my ultimate's doing quite a lot of damage. My W's doing quite a lot of damage. And this is what it's like to be an AP Lucian. This is what it do. This is what it... God, I love this build so much. Like, I know I, I, know I told you guys earlier, but, like, did I tell you that I love AP Lucian? Because I'm not sure. Like, if I had the choice between a Klondike bar and AP Lucian, I would AP Lucian. Through and through. So let's see. What the... All right, there's the flash. Do it, pussy! And what bonk? Wait, I missed? Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm stunned. I'm dead. I'm dead. No! Oh no! Not like this. Not like this. Seven one and zero. Oh. Game's over. I can't even... Why Why even continue this game? I'm dead. I'm kill. I'm I'm literally kill. <sighs> Shaking my head. Shaking my head, ankle spanking. You have dishonored your family. And now, you must pay the ultimate price of claiming victory in a League of Legends game because they have initiated the surrender vote and four of them have agreed. And that is majority vote. So... Victory coming out. Victory. And just like that, oof. I am harder than a prosthetic leg after that game. Seven, one, and zero. I want to see this damage. Damn. The only person that outdamaged me, no surprise there, was the super fed Twitch. So very well done. You have earned a key fra. I did it. I did it, Dad. But look at that. 12,000 damage. 
could have been a little higher if we had a more aggressive early game. But honestly, I'm very happy with this still. And that game in general, I hope you guys had a blast watching it as much as, or, you know, I hope you had as much fun watching it as I had playing it. Because, like I said, I love this build, and I hope you guys do decide to give it a shot. It is an immense amount of fun to just play in normals, or in ranked if you like that. But, uh, if you guys did, in fact, enjoy this video, do make sure you leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All three links will be in the description below. Um, one last thing, I will be actually committing to a small streaming schedule soon, so even though I will be obviously uploading every day still, I will be streaming on an actual schedule. But as always, I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!